In this video, we're going to be checking another box from the folks over at Lutaku. The Lutaku box has arrived for uh, May 2017. We're going to get this opened up. I love when Lutaku arrives because one thing that you're going to get are actually two things, to be corrected, two things that you get. Not only do you get a jam-packed full of, a box full of really cool collectibles, but I have to say actually one of the coolest looking subscription boxes to arrive as well because it looks like a big giant treasure chest. I love that. But yeah, you, you do get a lot of stuff when it comes to this subscription box service. Let's find out what we got inside the May Lutaku box as I'm holding up my knife to the camera. There's Hank. Hank's going to join us for this. Let's cut the tape on the front here. And let's get right to unboxing the Lutaku for May 2017. I'm trying to think here. I think this might have been my, maybe my third... Maybe my third, this might be my fourth Lutaku. Every single box I've gotten, I've been really impressed with the value of the things inside. And let's see if this one is no different. Trying to get the flaps. Ugh, there we go. Trying to get the flaps all open there. First thing we get is a cap. With the, uh, kind of got like a leopard print on the bottom there. And it's Pirates of Heart. A little rimmed cap. Oh, cardboard too. I add that to my cardboard collection. I, I don't have a cardboard collection, or do I? Nice little ball cap. Let's see what else we have in here. We've got uh, the Crane King, the Naked, Monkey D. Luffy, 2017 One Piece Body Calendar Volume 5. There's a lot going on on here. Looks like it is a statue, so let's get that cut open. A little bit of tape on the side too, we can get rid of that. And a little bit of tape over here too. Lots of tape, lots and lots and lots of tape. All right, so, now there are two, I'm looking at this, two variations. Oh, the variation colors are in the pants and as well in the little fabric, little wrap that he's got on his belt. So let's see which one we got. It looks to me that we received variant A. That would be the one that has the little wrap there of, uh, of like an orangey color. Now there's some assembly that's required, so we're gonna get this guy put together. Comes with a hat. And what's this? Not sure what that is. Pop that out. I guess, is that a stand? I think it might be a stand for him. Then he comes with his body. Take that out. I guess if that is a stand, it would be coming in pretty handy. And we'll cut that open as well. All right, anything else? Anything else in here? We, okay, don't wanna miss any pieces. Gonna get the bubble wrap open here. Oops, and as quickly as I say that, I drop the, the head. Hold on a second. There we go, just pick up the head here. All right, so looks like there's just a few pieces here, one of which being the hat, and the hat sits over his neck, like that. This slides into place. Just make sure I don't have his hat stuck here. I guess it can, I guess it sits right underneath his hair. Okay. And then I'm guessing this stand just clips to the back of the foot. And there you go. Does it stand? Surprisingly, no, not with the stand itself. Maybe I haven't laid it flat enough. Oh, okay, so the stand does actually help it stand. Coloring is actually very nice on him digging how they've added this little bit of shadings on the arm. Face is nicely vibrant. I like the expression on his face too. A little bit of a smudge on the back there. Looks like there's just a little bit of glue or something. But all in all, a pretty neat looking statue. Just move the box over here. Let's see what else we have in here. Oh, there's a lots of stuff going on in this one. This is uh, one one piece. And I guess I could really reference the guide. 
That way we are 100% certain of what we're getting. So this one here was the Band Presto the Naked 2017 One Piece Body Calendar Volume 5 Monkey D. Luffy. March 2017 release, two color variants. And this one, by the way, does it give us, oh, this one here is retail value, $35 US. So $35 US, which for Canadian would be, I'm just trying to do my math here, I think it's like $48 or something along those lines. This one here is the One Piece Mini Devil Fruits with Stand. And I don't think it has any tape, so it's much easier to open up. over to the side. And let's see, it comes with a little booklet. Oh, and that's not a booklet, it's a sticker. Oh, even better, a little sticker that's included as well. And I guess the idea is the sticker goes to the back here. And then your fruit sits in the middle. Looks like it's almost like a pear or a blueberry pear. Love the texturing on there. Curly stem. It looks like it's a little soft over rubber. I won't put the sticker on just yet. I'm just going to put that right over there. And this is the Devil's, once again, the Devil Fruits with Stand. And this one happened to be, I'm just looking at them. Oh, blue pear shape. The Gura, uh, Gura, Gura no Mi. It says Devil Fruit, which allows the user to create vibrations or quakes, making the user a tremor human. It was eaten by Edward Whitebeard Newgate. Uh, but upon his death, its power was stolen through unknown means by Marshall D. Blackbeard Teach. And that one is $14 US. Let's see what else we have in here. I think what I might actually do is just grab all the contents. Because it's so much easier than trying to reach to the back here every single time. Next one we have is a one piece here. It says... Zoo or Zo Zero One. I'm just gonna look at this one here. It is the One Piece World Collectible Figures Zoo Island, March 2017 release, and it is uh, $15 US for this one. I'm gonna open this one up and cut the tape on the side and on the other side. Get that opened up. comes in three pieces, a stand, the neck for the figure, to adjust to attach to the figure's body, okay, and then the figure itself. Put that right over there. Look at this cool jack. Cigar in his mouth, hands in his pockets, that's a cool guy. Now he's got a little clip that goes to his back. Like that, you have to kind of wiggle it in there, it seems. And then this will just attach, maybe it's easier to attach this to the base first. There we go. Then we'll attach it to the guy's back. All right, there he is. Really like the coloring on his hair. I've mentioned this before and I'll say it again. Like when it comes to these smaller collectibles, it's got this jaw-dropping paint quality to it, like really clean, other than that little speck on his hair, but generally really clean, like really precise detailing, if that makes any sense. I can add that to the other two pieces that we had a look at. Next we have, this is a Wanted Dead or Alive, this is heavy too, this is a Sanji Wanted Poster Keychain, which is, keychain is uh, $5, let's see here, see here, $5 US dollars. That's one thing I do like about the Lutaku, is that they show you the values, because I know that's one thing you guys always ask, is what are the values of these things? Is it really worth the amount of money for the subscription boxes? Like, what are each of these worth? Well, this one here is metal. Right there. Very heavy keychain. Lots of detail going there as well. Like it looks, 
it looks like it, it is metal. You know, sometimes things, when you look at them, you're like, what material is that? It clearly looks like it's a metal material. And this one here is $5. And I think the last item in this box, this is a stand for it. So yeah, this is a, uh, let's see, a one piece sword. Look at that. I'm open this up. This is a one piece sword with stand. And in quotations it says Yoru. I like when we get these little swords and stuff added. Now, it doesn't have a sheath from what I can see. This doesn't open or anything like that. So that's the blade itself. It's not sharp. So it's not something you, I would say it's not an, it's not actually like a true sword that you could use. Like a letter, I guess it could be used for a letter, no, letter opener because it's still got the little point on the end. Lots of detail there in the handle. Like the little jewels and stuff. Beautiful looking piece. And it, again, it comes with a stand, so if you want to display it. Kind of like what they've got done, gone, they've done down over here. It says, Yoru is one of the strongest swords in the world. It is one of the 12 Seijo O Wazamono and, and a black blade currently owned by Dracul Mihawk, or Mihawk. Mixed with Mihawk's abilities, Yoru has tremendous power, is seen destroying Don Krieg's flagship with a single strike. While Yoru is the uh, sharpest blade in the world, it is also gentle. This, is, this was demonstrated when Mihawk deflected the course of bullets uh, that were aimed at him with only a slight touch of the sword. It can also launch a massive slashing attack uh, of compressed air that can reach an extremely long distance, sending spiraling waves at, at the opponent and capable of slicing a mountain of ice from afar. And the sword was... Sword with Stan was $12 US. So if you take the figure, the Devil Fruit, the cap, which by the way was $12, a WCF minifigure and the sword with stand and keychain that all adds up to $93 US and that's based on amazon.com prices. So again, a really good value uh, in the loot taco in this be the May 2017 loot table one piece. If you guys are interested in subscribing to the Lutaku, there's the website up at the top there, www.lutaku, that would be l o o t a k u.com. And you can get all of this delivered to your house every single month. You may not necessarily get this stuff, because this month has now passed, but uh, guaranteed you can be set up for next month to arrive. Uh, if you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe to this channel, what are you waiting for? Click the subscribe button down below and you're good to go. And then you won't miss a beat when it comes to these other subscription boxes uh, being unboxed on this channel. You'll always get updates and you'll always know when a new unboxing is, is, uh, is currently being on YouTube, when it goes live. Live. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.